guys, it was me, Kiana. Today's video is going to be on this look. New Year's Eve is closely, closely approaching, so I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys some more um, holiday inspiration, definitely around the new year. As you can see, honey, we have changed this hair. We have actually played with some cooler colors for those of you that are looking at going with more of a silver vibe, more of a neutral, or just something really, really dark and sultry. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Give it two thumbs up. And make sure you check the description box for all the products that I use. And without further ado, if you want to see how I got this easy New Year's Eve inspired look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, let's get started. Of course, I'm grabbing my Idealist Skin Refinisher. This is going to give me an even texture all over my face and make my makeup last all day long. Kind of like a primer, but skincare. Next, I'm going to grab my Advanced Night Repair. This is for um, giving me maximum hydration all day. Kind of makes the foundation not feel thick on my face. Next, I'm going to grab my Revitalizing Supreme. This is the Moisturizer by Estee Lauder, just for a little slip. Now, I'm going to grab my Ben Nye Media Pro Palette and customize me a color corrector. Remove these dark circles before I even get started with the makeup. Do it on both sides of the face. It will also make sure that your concealer doesn't break all night long. Next, grabbing a new foundation by Chanel. This is the Ultra Wear Foundation. The shade I'm using is number 70. It's my base coat, but I'll come back and use it again as my contour. Just blending this out in small sections. It does dry very, very quickly. Take your time. Make sure there's no skipping and just blend it out. Next, of course, I'm grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade number 10. I'm going to lay this on really, really heavy. This gives you amazing pictures. And of course, New Year's is all about the selfies. Tap that out, make sure there are no lines of demarcation. It blends in like a dream, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this concealer. But you have to set all that concealer magic. I'm going to grab my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to put a little bit on my Paul palette. Look how cute she is. Just tapping out the areas where I put concealer. I'm not setting my whole face right now, just setting that concealer, and you'll see why in just a set. Tap, tap, tap. Make sure there are no fine lines. Next, I'm coming back with more Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade 121. You can see this is several degrees darker than my complexion, but I'm putting this in my contour zone using a Real Techniques angled brush. I'm just going to blend this out, doing a nice, beautiful, soft, focused contour. This is going to also make my bone structure stand out very, very nicely from every angle. There you go. Selfies on fleek. Going to contour a little bit with my new Bedellium Tools brush. This is number 788. Absolutely love that texture of that brush. Now, grabbing my Muron contour palette and my Chanel contouring brush, I'm just going to sit everywhere that I applied contour with that um, Ultra Wear foundation in that shade, mm, shade 121. Then I'm going to set my face using my um, Chanel Ultra Wear Powder just to make sure I don't have any flashbacks and this just gives you the most amazing finish so of course again going into the new year stop taking um, shortcuts in your makeup girls you're gonna get much better end result and of course don't we all wish that our brows could be on fleek this quickly mm -hmm. now let's go into this master palette by Mario I'm gonna grab the shade called Hollywood I'm going to blend that out all across my lid with the shade or the brush number 785. I'm going to take this all the way up to right to where my brows start. Just blending that out. And of course, I had concealer on my eyelid, so I didn't really have to use the eyeshadow base. Plus, Anastasia um, eyeshadows are really, really that good. Next, I'm grabbing this shade called Isabel and using that same Bedellium Tools brush, the 785. And just blending that into my crease just to bring my lid space back into focus and you just see how many times I'm blending just continue to blend until your arm hurts and then you know that you need to blend some more now let's pop that same shade right underneath the lower eyelid this Isabel shade so of course I'm doing my eyeshadows in steps next I'm grabbing my Eason brush and I'm going into this shade called Claudia it's a very cool kind of a steel grayish blue can't really describe it but the shade is super duper pigmented and I'm just creating a very soft kind of what I call an open lid smoky so I'm not going to close the, the lid I'm just working on the outer V I'm trying to keep this camera in focus too outer V just applying a little bit of that darker shade and then I'm going to go back into Claudia and add a little bit 
in my interview but do you see how that lid space is open don't panic for my girls that love shimmer that's going to be the only place that shimmer is going to need to go but i just continue to build this shade up to you get the degree of blend you also get the degree of intensity and color and especially when you're working with precision brushes this is what it should kind of look like you're only putting the product where you want it to go so once you have to blend in the end you're only removing any you know harshness you're not really having to blend out color because you've applied too much just apply the amount that you want to start with and that makes your blend a little bit easier but you can see I'm also wrapping it around the lower lash line because that's giving you the nice smokiness. It keeps it very, very soft. It keeps the eye very, very balanced. And plus, for smaller eyes, it makes them look bigger. Now I'm going to tap into this shade called Marina. It's probably one of my favorite shades. And I'm using my MAC 242. It's a packing shader brush. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. And I'm just blending that in. You know what? I think I just grabbed my Tarte concealer brush. Huh? Who knew? Yeah. So a concealer brush does blend this shadow out well also. So I'm keeping that eyelid open. Can you see how it's kind of creating that openness effect? But now if I wanted to do glitter, which you guys always know I want to do glitter, that would be the place that I would apply it. So I'm going to now go into the shade called uh, Violetta and Muse. They are beautiful as well. And I'm grabbing my MAC 217 brush and just blending that in into the crease just a little bit to make sure everything, like the Claudia, the Marina, they connect. So it's kind of that, that middle hue. So whereas this eyeshadow look is very, very cool, I do throw in some pops of warmth to it just to make it true to me because, I mean, ultimately, I love a warm, smoky eye. But for my girls that really need something a little cooler, this is for you, girl. High five. Next, I'm grabbing one of my cassette brushes and just making sure that I detail that out. And that's kind of what it should look like. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, moving on. I'm going to grab my Estee Lauder. This is the Longwear, the Waterproof Infinite Eyeliner. You guys, this right here will last me all night long. But I'm only putting it on my lower lash line unless you're afraid of a liquid eyeliner. Okay, I'm just grabbing my tapered brush just to make sure that the eyeshadow didn't get blown out too much. And I decided to keep this in the video. This is my new technique on applying um, liquid liner on myself. Of course, I'm just grabbing my NYX, my vinyl liner. I love it because it has just a little bit more intensity than just a regular matte eyeliner. It does dry equally as quickly, but it just stands out a little bit better. It looks a little bit more shiny, you know, like vinyl. But as you can see, I'm taking my time and creating this wing, and um, I'm really not breathing. You can't see that part because that uh, Mario palette is there, but that mirror is really, really good. It allows those of us girls that need to have a real clean vision on that liner. It keeps you from um, pulling it out too far. So just trying to keep the mirror directly in front of you, you can kind of keep control of that liner. That's the tip for the day. Now I'm grabbing my new favorite mascara by Tarte. This is the uh, Falsies Mascara. And I'm gonna create beautiful lushness on my lashes before I apply the Falsies. So I know a lot of you girls are gonna try to wear false lashes for the first time on New Year's Eve. I don't advise it, but if you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna try it, make sure you coat your lashes as if you're not wearing false lashes make sure your adhesive is very very nice and tacky and then boom you can see how it just stuck directly on my lashes and then you can maneuver them it should really be this simple believe in yourself have a close-up mirror take your time and there you go false lashes yep gonna do the same thing on this side i think the main thing is making sure that inner part is adhered. I mean, I would tell you just drop some adhesive in your little purse, girl. Mm-hmm. So even if she's not in your purse, at least leave it in the car. If you're going to Uber, then you need to have a pocket or put it in your boob. Do something, girl, because that inner line, sometimes she just tries to lift up. Next, I'm grabbing one of my Estee Lauder blushes. This is in Blazingberry. It's a beautiful peachy brown just to, you know, bring those cheeks back to life. But all of that is going to be secondary to this illuminating powder by Danessa Myricks, one of my favorite of the year. I'm just popping a little bit of that on and sometimes her powders are so fine that you really don't need a blush but of course I always stay in the steps. Blush, 
highlight blush highlight but now I'm going to take it to another degree more I'm grabbing my pigment by glamorous chicks cosmetics in the shade bronze and oh I don't know if you guys can see that but it really looks like sparkling yumminess best I can say it's just beautiful it just gives that little added pop that so it takes that um, enlightened powder to another degree of sparkle which is perfect for New Year's because this is kind of subtle you guys know you know I like glitter so this is a little bit subtle for me but you know I'm gonna go take one for the team gonna pop a little bit of that pigment on my inner V just in that little inner crevice right there just to bring the look all the way together so it's really really nice and flowy I'm going to spray a little bit of this expensive Chanel Hydra Beauty Spray oh my god it's so expensive but I'm so obsessed with it just popping that in I didn't really saturate my face because I mean I really didn't need it I just being extra <laughs> Now I'm going to remove the moisturizer that I had on my lips and I always suggest that before you apply your liquid lipstick. I'm going to go into my first shade of 24 hour liquid lipstick. This shade is called Vamp and you'll see that I'm going to give you three different lip combinations real quick and I'm going to just really make sure that my lip line is perfected. So I'm going to use my um, liquid lipstick as a lip liner. So therefore all night long I don't have to worry about if the pigmentation is not going to be there I don't have to worry about that with glamorous chicks cosmetics um, I just absolutely love them and um, this shade again is called vamp so if you want something a little bit rosy but I'm going to take it a little bit more rich and ritzy that's the shade it's called ritzy it's a beautiful purpley plum and I'm just going to pop that directly on top and you will see that the products do mend together very nicely my lips never start to look you know like crack but you know on my face so I'm just going to go back over and intensify it just a little bit and here comes the magic this is the new one by glamorous chicks it's called love potion it's a metallic gloss and it just takes it to a whole nother level like New Year's can you see what just happened with that absolutely amazing the formulations of these they really do wear 24 hours so I can actually wear this and not have to worry about um, kissing my husband on New Year's you know drinking um, champagne I don't have to worry about um, hugging a friend I don't have to worry about me talking all night and it's slipping down my face like it is amazing but of course I'm going to make sure that I don't forget to apply mascara to the lower lash line I tend to always make this the last steps just in case my eyes are going to water or if I want to change how smoky a look is you know kind of a finishing move honey yes take down this voluminous wig honey yes play with it like she's yours for details on this unit I will leave her in the description box and I do treat my wigs just like they're my hair so I'm gonna spray some design essentials finishing spray in her honey and there you have we can slay because we are live hashtag that I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video for those of you that ask is do I have any um, discount codes for glamorous chicks cosmetics surprise happy new year check the description box it'll be right there for you don't play with them slay with them until next time guys thanks so much for watching hugs and kisses we'll talk to you soon mm, and I did it before my camera cut off ah, for the third time oh.